in its most fundamental sense. Meditation is simply just a way of returning to your senses. It's a way of learning to be more aware of what's happening when you're doing things, of the sounds you can hear, the things you can see and feel. And strangely, even though it's so simple and so obvious, it's not the natural way our mind works. We're often distracted by thoughts and other scenarios that play out in our mind. So meditation can be seen as a form of training. And it's in this exact way that I think meditation can be really useful when it comes to things like stress and anxiety. So rather than focusing all your attention on those brief moments of heightened stress or anxiety, it's more fruitful to pay attention to your experience across the entirety of your day. Try and build a positive mindset, a more mindful mindset during your normal hours. And this will lift some of the pressure off those tense moments of extreme stress or anxiety that you may be having. A really simple and realistic way to do this is to start reminding yourself, whenever you can, as many times as you want throughout the day, to just take a few mindful breaths. You don't have to sit down and meditate for hours on end to get the benefits of meditation. You can just have a few brief seconds of mindful breathing, mindful listening, whatever it is. Just give yourself that time throughout the day. Just to return to yourself, return to your senses. And this is really key because even though we know we should be more mindful, we should think less, that doesn't really mean anything unless we actively do something about it. And this is the best way to do it, from my experience. So as frequently as you can, just return to your senses. Pay attention to your breath or sounds you can hear. And it might seem trivial at first, but once you get into the habit of this, you can return to your senses sometimes you know, every few minutes and you'll get into the habit of this greater sense of awareness and it will emanate through your day, through your activities and then when it comes to those brief periods of elevated stress and anxiety which we all experience from time to time you won't be all alone to deal with that you will have practiced this returning to your senses throughout the day throughout the days that precede that period and you would have kind of had practice I guess to return to your senses and I think that's what's key the preparation and the generation of a more stable positive mindset so I hope that helps and let me know how it goes if you want any more advice on meditation or any guided meditations check out my other videos and I'll see you soon